Barakata Yahu Barakata Yahushai by Shem Rakakudash Barakatam. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahu by Shem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to Yaakim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Raya with another video. And you elites, such as you Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Gettys, DuPonts, what have you, are not going to escape your fate of becoming the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom of the Hebrew Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Your undersea bases or luxury submarines aren't going to save you. Your underground bunkers aren't going to save you. And as we'll see in this video, your low orbit space stations won't save you either. Because after nuclear destruction befalls the Earth, you won't be able to come back to the surface when the coast is clear and begin business as usual as you think you will. As I said, you're going to be the first fruits of slavery because the 144,000 are going to come to your places of hiding, take you, slap chains on you, and put you to work. And if you have a spiritual eye, you can see that these elites are getting scared. That's why they're beginning their demonization campaign of the Hebrew Israelites by putting us in the mainstream media and labeling us with that black label and showing us as this uh, fear-mongering, uh, ignorant hate group. But you Edomites are uh, just further exacerbating your downfall because by putting us in the mainstream, uh, those... Uh, that have ears to hear will hear this word and uh, just come back to their heritage if the Most High is dealing with them because he'll lead them to the paths of truth, which is uh, chiefly GMS, who has that 100% doctrine of truth, as well as those brothers that come in the spirit of GMS. But uh, I'll be profiling a video from RT titled Luxury Space Hotel to Open by 2021. Are you ready for a vacation in space? I sure am, which is why I got excited when I heard that the Aurora Space Station is supposed to be completed by the year 2021. The Aurora Station will supposedly be a luxury hotel in space. It'll host six people at a time, including... For the elites, not you average peons out there. Two crew members and four guests for a 12-day stay in low Earth orbit, completing a trip around the planet every 90 minutes. So, guests can watch their countries zoom by below them over and over again and see over a dozen sunsets and sunrises each day. But your stay aboard the Aurora Station will be about more than just a spectacular view. Because guests will also have the luxury of taking part in experiments that help provide knowledge that directly contributes to humanity's destinies in the stars, according to Orion Span, the company behind the Aurora Station. The example they give is that guests will be able to grow food on the station, helping humanity learn about how to sustain itself in space, on Mars, or other extraterrestrial colonies. And then when you leave the hotel, you can bring the food back home with Read between the lines, the elites are going to be able to sustain themselves in their places of hiding, and then when they think the coast is clear, they'll uh, come back to the surface. But there will also be fun stuff to do, too. Guests will be able to zoom freely around in zero gravity, which sounds like a blast. They'll also be able to live stream with loved ones back down on Earth. Orion Span promises to provide commonplace entertainment that might seem kind of boring on Earth, but gets more interesting in zero gravity. As their CEO, Frank Bunger, put it, even something as mundane as ping pong gets a lot more exciting in zero gravity. And he's convinced at least 26 people so far that it does sound fun as they've already put down their deposits for the future stays. If you're ready to go too, you can put down your deposit, which will set you back a whopping $80,000. So that already rules out a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as a lot of you Edomites or so-called white people, since your finances are hurting. Because a stay at the Space Hotel ain't cheap. In fact, the price keeps going up. It's somewhere around $10 million right now, give or take. Who just happens to have $10 million uh, lying around? Take a million. The actual price is still shifting because even though you might be ready to go, the actual hotel isn't. They're raising millions right now to develop it, but they still have yet to actually model it, build it, test it, insure it, get it to pass regulations, launch it, and test it out before shooting guests up for their stay. And they already have stations like this built. They'll also have to train their crew. 
Sounds like a lot to do before 2021, but if they manage to do it, don't be surprised if you see a GoFundMe from yours truly, because I'm ready for my space vacation today. And I'll be honest, I'm a sucker for a room with a view. This is Amos chapter nine. I'm gonna start at verse one. I saw Yahweh standing upon the altar, Salakia. And he said, smite the lintel of the door that the posts may shake and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered, though they dig into hell. And that's speaking of those underground bunkers. Then shall mine hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, which is speaking of the skies and low orbit space, where those uh, space stations will be, not the third heaven where the Most High dwells. Thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them. And not only are the 144,000 going to come and get you uh, elites out of your places of hiding, but that serpent, which is speaking of Leviathan, is going to have a little fun with you as well. This is Revelation chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse 15. And the kings of the earth, again, you Rothschilds, you Rockefellers, you Gettys, you DuPonts, you Bushes, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, which is speaking of Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly refers to as a so-called God, and from the wrath of the Lamb, Yahawashai, the Son of the Most High, whom the world ignorantly refers to as so-called uh, Jesus Christ, who is a so-called Negro, a dark-skinned Negro, verse 17, for the day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? That's a rhetorical question, because nobody shall be able to stand in this great day. This is Psalms 149. I'm going to start at verse 4. For Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. And those saints are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as the confusion of face Israelites, whose lineage on their father's side goes back to the 12 tribes, but will come looking as these other heathen nations um, who all make up the Hebrew Israelites. None of you other heathens, such as you uh, Moabites, the so-called Chinese, you Ammonites, so-called Japanese, you Ishmaelites, so-called Arabs, you Edomites, the so-called white people, are, are going to take part in Jacob's blessing. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand because um, the Israelites are going to get to work on you heathens, paying you back for uh, following Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and oppressing the children of Israel. Just look up Psalms chapter 83. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, making you elites the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. Isaiah 14, I'm going to start at verse 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And those strangers aren't speaking of you heathen nations. That's speaking of those confusion of face Israelites that will come looking as you other heathen nations. Verse 2, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, slavery. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. I'm going to close it off with Isaiah chapter 49, verse 23. And the kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. And you elites are going to bow down to the feet of the men you see out on the highways and byways and uh, see putting up these video epistles 
that's going to be a beautiful sight to behold to see you uh, devils who uh, afflicted the children of Israel and who thought this day would never come finally come and uh, not only humble yourselves, but uh, serve hardcore bondage and slavery where we're going to do unto you what you did unto us double fold, but of course in righteousness 